And it has been 55 years since a Category 4 hurricane has hit the Louisiana coastline. Remember, Katrina was a 3, so this will be stronger than that. It won't be hitting a densely populated area quite like that, but there's plenty of communities in here that will see a life-changing night. There is the eye of Laura right now, and it's about, let's say, 35 to 45 miles just south of the coastline. There's hurricane warnings that extend across East Texas, parts of Louisiana. These go a good about 175 miles inland. So even though locations may be displaced a long ways from the coast, they will be impacted. The hurricane force wind gusts are expected to spread north for tomorrow. Let's show you when landfall is expected, maybe in the next two to three hours as a category four storm. And what does that mean? Well, it means winds right now that are 150 miles per hour will probably be somewhere in that range at landfall. And then still a Category 2 storm early tomorrow morning, weakening across Arkansas to a tropical storm. We will not feel any direct impacts here across the southeast. This will be a remnant low as it starts to cruise across the mid-Atlantic. Here's Storm Tracker Radar Network. Already numerous tornado warnings, and there is the center of circulation, the eye, which will eventually make a landfall into Louisiana and then push up the state line area. So there is Laura across our area. Pretty quiet weather conditions. Our thunderstorms are gone, but a gorgeous evening after the rain, a rainbow out in the pooler area. Thank you to Bill Armstrong for that gorgeous shot. And how about in the low country? We go to Hampton County, some glorious rays of sunshine, the sun peeking through up in Hampton County. Thank you to Doug Knoll. Stepping out the door tomorrow morning, sunrise 657. Warm, muggy, a little bit of patchy fog possible, especially if you're west of I-95. And then just warm and humid temperatures will climb to the 80s. We'll hit the mid 90s again tomorrow. Rain chance is very low on Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's more of those daily pop up showers and thunderstorms. We'll call it isolated and then a little more numerous on Monday. So more in the scattered category. How about the feels like temperatures? It's going to feel kind of a lot of people have been terming it gross lately, extremely humid. And that sticky feel will be with us again. Very sweaty tomorrow afternoon. Those peak heat indices will be around 105 degrees during the afternoon. And this is pretty much all of southeast Georgia and the low country. Even the coastline will be touching triple digits at some point during the afternoon. Then we'll dip back into the 90s by Thursday evening. Your weekend planner 94 on Saturday, same on Sunday. And once again, the feels like temperatures around 105 degrees both days. Here is your certified most accurate forecast. Lots of mid 90s in the forecast. That's about five degrees above our average here of 90. The normal low is 72. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s and going into next week more of the same 90s with those sort of daily pop up showers and thunderstorms. So we're really focused in kind of our thoughts with everyone along the Gulf Coast. What's ahead in hurricane season? We never know when one of these will head in our direction across the southeast coast. So we always want to be ready and we can help you do that. Check out our Hurricane Essentials Guide.